The coronavirus definitely has us asking a lot of questions, and we know that brides need some answers. Well, Lori from Visit the Venues caught up with some of our vendors today to just talk to brides to find out how they're reacting and also find out how vendors are reacting. We wish you nothing but safety and good luck during this season. I know you've been affected a little bit by COVID-19, but yes. not much because mm -hmm. you're getting married in early July. Yes. And so how have these vendors worked with you to help you to help you put you at ease? So the first call I got was from our hotel. Mm -hmm. They were, you know, they were really, really fantastic. And it really kind of kicked off my confidence in saying, okay, we can get back on track. Because mm -hmm. we were really deciding, are we going to postpone right. and get married and then do the celebration later? Or what are our options as a bride? You know, you're stressing right. because you don't know. You've got hundreds of people coming. You've got family members traveling from out of town. Um, the vendors have really stepped up their communication. And they've always had great communication, but it's even, you know, great to see that they're able to go above and beyond right. you know cleanliness and, and just really making me feel at ease okay. so that i'm not going to have to worry about everyone coming in the vendors are ready everyone's going to take precautionary measures as they need to the venues are ready the, i mean everyone's really ready to go they've all stepped up yeah they've all stepped up to the plate yeah. which we knew our vendors would that's yeah. you know that's, that was no question it was just yeah. more of like you know your support team i really felt like okay Okay, guys, we're going to do this, and, you know, we really just got game on, game right? Plan. Game yeah. on. Baseball <laughs> might have been delayed, but we've got this game going, right? For sure. Well, thank you again, Lacey. It's been wonderful. And you know, So you're doing tours again. Yeah. You started doing, doing tours, tours May 1st, May and, of course, we're all doing the um, guidelines uh, presented right. to us by Governor Abbott, and we appreciate it so much. Um, so what would you tell the brides now that are out there worried about their weddings, worried about the rest of 2020, and worried about 2021? What information would you like to give them? What I want to give them, the information, is that they need to have open lines of communication with all their vendors. Okay. I think if you've got great vendors, they're going to work with you. Mm -hmm. They're going to be, they're going to give refunds. First of all, don't want don't want a refund, right? Don't right. want to cancel. Right. Just postpone. That's what we've done. I had nine brides between the middle of March and the end of April. Okay. Uh, we postponed them all. Mm -hmm. We found dates for them. Mm -hmm. If you've got good vendors, they're going to postpone. They don't want you to cancel. They right. want your business. They need your business. Right. We're all in this. It's a business, right? Right. right. Even though it's fun and we love it and we're fairy godmothers. <laughs> we get, yeah, it's a we are fairy godmothers. At the end of the day, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, don't cancel on anybody. Okay. Just okay. move your dates and have that open line of communication. Okay. My girls have my phone number. They call me at midnight if they need to. They do, don't they? they? Yeah, they yeah. do. They know yeah. that I'm there and sometimes they're like, oh, I'm, I didn't realize it was so late because they can't sleep or, right. you know, but my, that open line of communication and then... Um, let's, and here's another thing, girls don't understand that we're hearing it as they're hearing it. Mm -hmm. So they think we have some sort of secret insider <laughs> information. Right, we right, don't. Right. We're hearing it as they're hearing it. Right. So Equal weddings. Absolutely. So two part wedding. Two part we wedding. Ceremony now and have your party later. Great. Absolutely. We'll do it. So couples just now getting engaged that really want to get married in 2020. Um, do you see anything wrong with having a 60? Five person or seventy five person wedding? Not. Do you not? Absolutely and and you know, obviously the tables are pretty not far apart. You we can actually we do can the outside. So it. yeah. So yeah. good. So good. Set the tables for six, have plenty of space, mm -hmm. plenty of room for them to have a big dance floor and a party. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's just time it's just time for people to start getting back to love, right? Absolutely. You have dreamed about this wedding all your life. The thing about it is it's between you and your fiance, mm -hmm. right? And it's about at the end of the day you're going to be married to your best friend. That's right. It's not about a show for anybody else. That's right. It's that's about right. the love in the room. Yeah. And that's it. And, and and thank you. That's exactly it. That's exactly what I have always thought. So if you're looking for a great place for 2020, I think this is your place. Um, they have you have two options. Yeah. Plus two outdoors, y'all know now outdoors. outdoors. We don't have outdoors. I know it gets a little outdoors. warm, but we're, we're having cooler weather now. Well, and the thing about it is, is that we we've got uh, some ideas for some outdoor receptions even. So okay. Okay. If you're looking for an outdoor party, tell them to call me because I I've got some Love lighting it. things happening and. Yeah, yeah, we have some good ideas for that cantina for some outside parties. So we're excited about that.